parents face a common and unexpected problem. What to feed their young children? For over a hundred years, the only alternative to breast milk has been formulas based on cow's milk or soy protein. Until now, we believe that young children deserve an alternative. At Else Nutrition, we have patented the world's first non-dairy, non-soy baby formula derived from plant protein. That means it's free of hormones, antibiotics, and gluten, and it's completely non-GMO. All right, so as you can see, we're talking about infant nutrition right now. And, um, you know, I'd love to say that I found Hamatol and Else Nutrition and got really excited about this company, but if I'm being honest, I think it was my wife that introduced uh, me to Hamatol two years ago at a conference that we run in Toronto. And uh, we had a one year old boy at that time, and he had an aversion to dairy, and we were struggling to find a replacement formula. And my wife met Hamatol at this conference and came running over to me and said, I found a plant based baby formula that you have to meet this entrepreneur. And so I went over and met Hamatol and we got to speaking and she did have this patent on a proprietary plant-based infant formula, something that we had not been able to find for our kids, uh, but she wasn't yet in production. And so um, what I love to do is, is introduce the right people to the right people and we introduced Hamatol to the right people. She raised uh, uh, $7 million last year to move this company towards production and I want to jump right into it. So uh, my first question for you, Hamatol, is how big is the infant nutrition market that you're tackling? Well, it's really a huge market and it's growing like 10% a year. It's a $70 billion uh, industry right now. It's projected to be 90 in uh, 2025. So it's a really huge industry. The reason it's, um, it's growing, one of the drivers is China, where middle class moms are getting into uh, the work cycle when traditionally they used to breastfeed in the past and today they have to use, they are forced to use uh, infant nutrition. So they're growing, China is growing 20% a year. In the Western world, you see some very specific segments that are growing, although the population growth is quite stagnant, um, but you see the organic, where the organic formulas are growing like hell, it's like, it's going to be duplicated within five years. And the other thing that's growing is the specialty formulas which cater the babies with allergies. For example, you, you can look at the US market, it's a new data, you see 40% of the moms are using um, specialty formulas which actually uh, try to alleviate all the symptoms of allergy and sensitivities or any type of intolerance w with their baby. That's a huge figure. I never saw such a thing in any country in the world. Yeah, I mean that leads into my next question. Why are you, uh, why are you building a plant-based infant formula? Why do we need a plant-based infant formula? Well, actually, um, this industry uh, provides two sources of protein uh, into, this for, in, into, this, um, into this market. Actually, there are cow's milk and soy for a century already. Yeah, those are the two options that we had available to us. Right. And the truth is that uh, breast milk is very uh, difficult to replicate. This has been a challenge for so many years. And, and there's always choice number one, right? If we sure, have Sure, this is the gold standard. For sure. For all, this will always be the gold standard. Never be able to duplicate it 100%. Still, we all have to breastfeed. This is the first thing we need to do. But after that, we, have, we used to have good options, which were cow's milk and soy. That was a century ago. But these two sources have been so industrialized in the 21st century, like the whole agriculture has been industrialized. And there's an effect on our planet, it affects our health, it's, it affects uh, um, animal welfare as well. And all these things really create a lot of damage to everybody. It, in terms of intolerance, which is growing for everybody, for adults, and definitely for babies. 
the level of intolerance that is caused by the, the level of pesticides that's in, in the cow's feed, the level of hormones that these cows secrete, and the artificial hormones that are put inside. Do you think that's why more and more children seem to be having aversions to dairy? It's I'm quite certain more of common, that. I mean, not? there's no, I mean, this industry is so huge and so being lobbied in, uh, in, you know, in parliaments and all this. So they didn't have any interest to show the connection between the two factors that I just spoke of. But and, and what are the stats today? How many kids are having allergic reactions to traditional dairy? I, as I said, there's a new. First of all, there's a there's this forty percent of the market in the in the U.S., which is specialty formulas. These are parents that are trying to escape. Um, the industrialized cow's milk. This is a, a great figure for us to, re to rely on. And we got hundreds of hundreds of uh, emails coming to us for, uh, from parents that are begging to buy the product. And uh, there's, there's a waiting list for this product. So there's yeah. another thing. There's a new release um, of, a, of a, um, a study that was uh, released on 2018 coming from a Chicago hospital that was doing a long-term uh, study showing that 50% of the allergic babies under one, under one year are allergic to cow's milk. This is uh, also something that was not uh, addressed. And 50% of these babies will be also allergic to soy, which are the two alternatives that exist in this market. So what are we left with? We're stuck with two alternatives. There are abundance of vendors. I mean, there are many vendors. They all sell the same, the same products under different brands. And we're stuck with two alternatives that they are far from being perfect. Um, and, and so is it becoming a crowded market? Or is competition increasing for you? What's the barrier for another company to enter this space? Well, the barriers are very high. We start from science. I mean, if you don't meet the breast milk composition values. You can't call it a formal, you're not considered a formal. This is the, the most critical barrier, I think. That's why none of the companies or anyone have managed to do such a thing before. We've managed to take two plants and actually in a most natural and clean process, create a breast milk analog out of, it, out of them. So this is really stunning in terms of science. And it happened due to personal pain that we had in the families. And we are all coming from, we are all veterans of the infant nutrition industry. So that was the coincidence. We had a personal pain and we're coming from the uh, industry. And that's what made us look at the solution and find it. So you were asking. Um, well, my next question actually is, you know, tell me about Else Nutrition next year. What are you, what's coming next? What can we expect from the company in 2020, 2021? What are you excited about? Well, we're currently uh, scaling up very intensively in several sites in Europe, heading to the US as well, to North America, to start scaling up there. We are very close to market. We are going to be in market in Q2 2020 with a product from 12 months onwards. This is the toddler formula. If you want to be uh, in the infant section, we have to, although we meet the standards theoretically, we meet all the standards, but we have to go clinical, uh, get the permit from the FDA. It's ongoing. It's a, we already started that process. It should take around two years to get it, and we're, back, and we're there. So we'll have a full range within two years. That's what expected. Got it. So your expectation is two years. We're on the shelves. You're in, you're in baby's mouths. We're going to be on the, on the shelves in a, in, a, in, a, in a couple of months, but uh, with the toddler formula. With the toddler formula, in correct, a, yeah. In a, in, within two years, we're going to have a full range, actually challenging the whole industry. Okay, awesome. And uh, I'm obviously a big fan of the company. Uh, you have a trade show booth here at the show, so if investors sure, want we'll to... Sure, we'll be happy to meet all of you and uh, let you taste the formula, which tastes really good. You have samples. We have samples. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you guys want to taste some plant-based baby formula, there's plenty. Thank you so much for coming on Thank stage you, with Jay. me today. I appreciate it. Thank you.